The green ironwork bridge rose up before them, the only real color on this steel gray day. It had been years since that bridge had carried Kate Donaldson over the Piscataqua River into Maine on her yearly summer vacations, but it looked exactly the same as it had then. A tiny shiver ran through her. Excitement? Perhaps. Or maybe it was fear. She was a 42-year-old woman running away from home. Tom's Lexus rumbled over the bridge. Her attorney and friend, her only friend, seemed unaware she had woken, which was fine. He'd probably try to engage her in conversation, and she wasn't up for that. She'd left her life, her children, her husband, everything but Charlie, her dog. It was time to make a new start, to heal, to somehow come to terms with the past six months, learn how to move forward and forge a new life for herself. This sudden move, this disappearing act, was rash, but having almost taken her own life, she needed to take control of it now. As crazy as it seemed, especially just a day after being released from the hospital, it made her feel determined, empowered. It was as if she'd completed the outline of a difficult jigsaw puzzle without the picture on the box to guide her. Fitting in the rest of the pieces wouldn't be any easier. But if she wanted to put herself back together after the worst year of her life, she didn't have a choice. The question was, would she still recognize herself once the puzzle was complete? Hey, sleepyhead, you finally awake? Yeah, how much longer? The muscles in her ass were cramped and she needed to stretch. But she didn't want to ask him to stop. She didn't want to be more of a burden than she'd already become. Less than an hour, but I have to stop for gas. There's a service plaza a few miles ahead. Hungry? At the power of his suggestion, her stomach grumbled noisily. I guess I am. Must be the meds. She couldn't remember the last time she'd felt hunger. There's a Burger King if you're desperate. Or we can get to the house, unload, and then head to Yarmouth or Freeport. Do you like lobster? She made a face. You love Maine but not lobster? He seemed genuinely surprised. Yes to Maine, no to lobster. Thoughts of Joey filled her head. Her best friend, Tom's secret love, tragically gone from them both. Joey loved Maine just as much as I do. He did. That's why he bought the house for you. Despite the pain in his eyes, he smirked. But unlike you, he loved lobster. 